There have been many legendary defensemen during the storied history of the NHL. The position may be the hardest in the game to evaluate. After all, what makes a defenseman great? How much should offensive contribution count versus keeping the puck out of your own net? The reality is that being an elite, all-time great defenseman in the NHL is about equal parts of offensive and defensive dominance while factoring in how the game has evolved over the decades. With that said, today we're taking a look at the greatest defenseman of all time from all 32 NHL teams. The only rule is, we can't name the same player twice. The Anaheim Ducks, Scott Niedermeyer. An offensively minded defenseman, Scott Niedermeyer was best known for his skating ability and drew comparisons to the game's offensive greats from the time he broke into the NHL. He put up 35 or more points in 9 seasons. After spending over a decade with the New Jersey Devils and winning 3 Stanley Cups and a Norris Trophy, Scott Niedermeyer signed with the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim as a free agent prior to the 2005-2006 season. He added a fourth championship when he captained the Ducks to their first and only Stanley Cup in 2007, memorably handing the cup to his teammate and younger brother, Rob. Scott also took home the Conn Smythe as playoff MVP after putting up 11 points. The Arizona Coyotes' Oliver Ekman Larson Selected 6th overall by the Phoenix Coyotes in the 2009 NHL Draft, Ekman Larson spent 11 seasons in the desert and led the Coyotes in scoring in both the 2014-15 and 2015-16 seasons. Ekman Larson tallied 128 goals, 260 assists, and 388 points in 769 games, ranking second amongst all Coyotes players in points, just behind Shane Doan. He also served as team captain from 2018 to 2021 before being traded to the Vancouver Canucks. The Boston Bruins, Bobby Orr. We all knew this one was a given. Bobby Orr is the consensus greatest defenseman in the history of the game. Bobby Orr revolutionized the position of defenseman with his speed, scoring, and playmaking abilities. Playing for the Bruins for 10 seasons, he brought the city two Stanley Cups in 1970 and 72. In both victories, Orr scored the clinching goal and was named the playoff MVP. Orr also remains the only defenseman to have won the league scoring title with two Art Ross trophies. He holds the record for the most points and assists in a single season by a defenseman and won a record eight consecutive Norris trophies. He also took home three consecutive Hart trophies as NHL MVP and was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame at age 31, the youngest ever at that time. Well, Orr is the undeniable greatest of all time and is responsible for perhaps the most famous hockey photograph ever. That isn't to understate other legendary Bruins defensemen like Eddie Shore, Ray Bork, or Zdeno Chara. The Buffalo Sabres, Phil Housley. After being selected number 6 in the 1982 NHL Draft by the Sabres, Phil Housley put up 66 points in his first season, finishing second in Calder voting. In his second season, Housley led NHL defensemen with 31 goals, the most he'd ever score during his career. Housley put up 178 goals and 380 assists for 558 points and 608 games with Buffalo, the fifth most in franchise history. He scored 29 goals in 1987-88 and had seven seasons of at least 20 goals and was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2015. The Calgary Flames' Al McInnes A first-round selection by Calgary in the 1981 NHL Draft, Al McInnes spent 13 seasons with the Flames. Well, with the Flames, he played in eight All-Star games, but more importantly, led the Flames to their one and only Stanley Cup in 1989, taking home the Conn Smythe Trophy as playoff MVP. McInnes was famous for having one of the hardest shots in the league and once even split a goaltender's mask. On July 4th, 1994, Calgary traded Al McInnes and a fourth-round pick to the St. Louis Blues, where he continued to dominate, appearing in seven more All-Star contests and winning the Norris Trophy in 1999. The Carolina Hurricanes' Jacob Slavin The fourth-round pick in the 2012 NHL Entry Draft is currently tied with Justin Falk at 58 points for the franchise's all-time defenseman record. And considering he remains an important piece of a dominant Hurricanes team, he probably will have passed it by the time this video releases. He's also second in games played by a defenseman behind Glenn Wesley. Slavin has been a consistent consistent 30-plus point defenseman since joining the Hurricanes and serves as an alternate captain. He's an important part of the current Hurricanes core that have been perennial cup contenders. The Chicago Blackhawks, Duncan Keith. 
The Chicago Blackhawks selected Keith in the second round of the 2002 NHL Draft, Keith making the NHL in 2005-2006. Over the next decade, he was a part of a young core of talent that helped the Blackhawks go from a team that missed the playoffs nine times in a span of ten seasons, to one that won three Stanley Cups in 2010, 2013, and 2015. That's as close to a dynasty as you can get in the salary cap era. Keith had his breakout season in 2009-10, finishing with 69 points to win the Norris Trophy. He took the award home once more in 2013-14 and won the Conn Smythe during the Blackhawks Cup run in 2015, finishing the playoffs with 21 points, including a league-leading 18 assists. Leading all Chicago defensemen with 1,192 games played, he recorded 625 points as a Blackhawk. Colorado Avalanche, Kale McCarr It's insane when you realize that Kale is only 25 years old. Taken fourth overall by the Avalanche in the 2017 draft, Kale McCarr made an immediate impression by scoring the game-winning goal against the Calgary Flames in Game 3 of the Western Conference first round. It became the Avalanche's first playoff series victory in 11 years. He followed that by winning the Calder Trophy in the 2019-20 season after finishing with 50 points in 57 games. Makar was a finalist for the 2020-21 Norris Trophy, finishing second in voting to Adam Fox. But the following season, he put up 28 goals and 86 points to set single-season records for the Avalanche, and not only won the Norris, but helped the Avalanche win the Stanley Cup with 29 points and was named the Conn Smythe Trophy winner. He became the first player to win the Hobie Baker, Norris Trophy, and Conn Smythe in his career, and the third defenseman to win the Conn Smythe at age 23 or younger after Bobby Orr and Serge Savard. Makar is also only the third player in NHL history to win the Norris and Conn Smythe in the same season, joining Orr and Nick Lidstrom. The Columbus Blue Jackets, Zach Wierenski. The eighth overall pick in the 2015 draft has spent eight seasons with the Blue Jackets. Wierenski finished third in Calder voting in 2017, putting up 47 points in 78 games. He helped the Blue Jackets win the Stanley Cup playoff series for the first time, a four-game sweep against the Tampa Bay Lightning in 2019. He leads Blue Jackets defenseman in all-time points with 279 in 463 games. The Dallas Stars, Sergei Zubov. Zubov was acquired by the Dallas Stars on June 12, 1996 after playing three seasons for the New York Rangers and one for the Pittsburgh Penguins. He'd spent 12 seasons in Texas and finished with at least 42 points in each of his first 10 seasons with the Stars. Zubov had 13 points in 23 playoff games, when the Dallas Stars won their only Stanley Cup in 1999. The 2019 Hockey Hall of Fame inductee holds the Stars franchise records for defensemen with 549 points and 839 games played. The Detroit Red Wings' Nicholas Lidstrom The Swede spent 20 years in a Red Wings jersey and captained the team for his final six seasons. Lidstrom led the Red Wings to four Stanley Cups in 1997, 98, 2002, and 2008. He took home the Conn Smythe in 2002 and won a staggering seven Norris trophies, tied for the second most one with Doug Harvey behind only Bobby Orr. The Red Wings never missed the playoffs during his career, the longest streak of playoff appearances for a player in NHL history. The 12-time All-Star was the first European-born and trade captain of a Stanley Cup winning team, as well as the first European player named Playoff MVP. He also leads all European players in games played with a single team with 1,564, in which he put up 1,142 points. The Edmonton Oilers, Paul Coffey. Drafted sixth overall by the Oilers in 1980, Paul Coffey ranks second all-time among NHL defensemen in goals, assists, and points, behind only Ray Bork. He won the Norris Trophy three times and holds the record for the most goals by a defenseman in one season, with 48 in 1985-86. He's also the only defenseman to have scored more than 40 goals more than once, and one of only two defensemen to score 100 points in a season more than once, as he did it five times, while Bobby Orr did it six. He won three Stanley Cups as an Oiler in 1984, 85, and 87, and he holds the all-time Oilers record for points by a defenseman with 669 in 532 games played. The Florida Panthers, Aaron Ekblad. Taken first overall by the Panthers in the 2014 draft, Aaron Ekblad remains an important part of one of the best teams in the NHL, 
and serves as an alternate captain. He leads all Panthers defensemen with 344 points and 667 games played. He took home the Calder Trophy in 2015 and went on to become the first defenseman and 12th skater in Panthers history to score 100 goals. The Los Angeles Kings drew Doughty. Taken second overall in the 2008 draft by the Kings, Doughty is the first defenseman in Kings history to reach 600 points and his 112th multi-point game passed Rob Blake for the most in team history at the position. In the 2012 playoffs, Doughty tied for the NHL lead with 12 assists and was 5th with 16 points as the Kings won their first Stanley Cup. In 2014, Doughty led all NHL defensemen in playoff scoring with 18 points as the Kings won their second championship. Named an alternate captain prior to the season, Drew Doughty took home the Norris Trophy in 2016 after putting up 51 points. On October 21st, 2023, Doughty played his 1,100th NHL game, becoming the 12th defenseman in NHL history to play 1,100 games with one franchise. There he remains as a co-face of the still-competitive Los Angeles Kings, alongside Captain Alze Kopitar. The Minnesota Wild, Jared Spurgeon. Serving as the current team captain, Jared Spurgeon has spent 14 years in the state of hockey. Spurgeon became an offensive force, reaching double figures in goals four times in five seasons from 2015-16 through 2019-20. He became a master of putting himself in the right position and using his stick to poke check the puck away from opponents, doing so while staying out of the box. From the time he entered the NHL until he signed a four-year contract extension with the Wild in December 2015, Spurgeon's 38 penalty minutes were the fewest among defensemen who had played at least 300 games. He leads all-time wild defensemen with 384 points and 867 games played. The Montreal Canadiens' Larry Robinson As with the Boston Bruins, the Montreal Canadiens are a storied franchise with many potential candidates like Doug Harvey, Guy Lapointe, Andre Markov, and Serge Savard. But Larry Robinson leads all Habs defensemen in points with 883 and games played with 1,202. He won six Stanley Cups with the Canadians, including four straight from 1976 to 79, and took home the Conn Smythe in 1978. Robinson also won two Norris trophies in 1977 and 1980. Robinson was as powerful a presence as there was in the league, a key part in the Habs dynasty. The Nashville Predators, Roman Yossi. It was a tough call between Yossi and Shea Weber, but we decided to go with the current Predators captain, who still has a lot left in the tank. After all, Yossi has already surpassed Weber in Predators defensive records with 173 goals, 488 assists, 661 points, and 888 games played. He spent 13 seasons with the Preds and helped them win the President's Trophy in 2018, and continues to be one of the NHL's top offensive defensemen. He was voted winner of the 2020 Norris Trophy after scoring 65 points in 69 games. The New Jersey Devils, Scott Stevens. Awarded to the New Jersey Devils as compensation when restricted free agent Brendan Shanahan was snatched by the St. Louis Blues, Scott Stevens became one of the most important players in Devils franchise history. He captained the Devils to four Stanley Cup final appearances in nine years, winning three of them in 1995, 2000, and 2003. In 2000, he was named Conn Smythe Trophy winner after setting a physical tone throughout the playoffs, laying out multiple players with massive hits. Inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2007, Stevens retired with the most games played by an NHL defenseman at 1,635 games, which was later surpassed by Chris Chelios and Zdeno Chara. In terms of Devils all-time D-men, he sits only behind Scott Niedermeyer in points with 430 in 956 games played. The New York Islanders' Dennis Potvin the first overall pick in the 1973 draft spent 15 years with the Islanders, playing in 1,060 games and recording 310 goals, 742 assists, 1,052 points, all of which are franchise records, and it's not particularly close. In 1979-80, Potvin's first year as captain, the Islanders won their first of four Stanley Cups. In addition to the four consecutive Stanley Cup championships and five straight finals appearances, in the eight seasons he served as captain, the Islanders never failed to reach the playoffs. Potvin won the Calder Trophy in 1974, 
as well as three Norris trophies in four years in 1976, 78, and 79. The New York Rangers' Brian Leach. Spending 16 seasons in the Big Apple, Leach has been called one of the top defensemen in NHL history. He won the Calder Trophy in 1989 after putting up 71 points in 68 games his 23 goals still remaining a record for rookie defenseman. Leach is also a two-time Norris Trophy winner, taking home the award in 1992 and 1997. Leach was the first American-born winner of the Conn Smythe Trophy for his performance during the Rangers' run to the 1994 Stanley Cup. He is one of only six NHL defensemen to score 100 points in a season, with his 102-point campaign in 1991-92. When Leach's number two was retired by the Rangers in 2008, longtime teammate Marc Messier called him the single greatest Ranger of all time. The Ottawa Senators' Eric Carlson the 15th overall pick in the 2008 draft spent nine years with the Senators and took home two Norris trophies during that span, in 2012 and 2015. His speed, puck sense, and passing are superb, and he's proven to be durable and tough despite playing heavy minutes on a nightly basis. For example, on February 13th, 2013, Carlson sustained a 70% tear in his left Achilles tendon and required surgery, but he was back in uniform less than three months later and helped the Sens advance to the second round of the playoffs. Despite playing with a fractured left foot that required off-season surgery, Carlson led the Senators in postseason scoring with 18 points in 19 Stanley Cup playoff games, carrying the team to Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Final, where they lost to the Pittsburgh Penguins in double overtime. The Philadelphia Flyers' Mark Howe Mark Howe was born the son of Mr. Hockey himself, Gordy Howe, but carved out an impressive legacy of his own. He holds the franchise record for points by a defenseman, with 480 in 594 games. He helped the Flyers reach the Stanley Cup Final in 1985 and 1987, but they lost to the Edmonton Oilers each time. Howe also finished second in voting for the Norris Trophy three times. The Pittsburgh Penguins' Chris Letang The first pick in the second round of the 2005 draft, Letang is one of three players to suit up in 1,000 games for the Penguins alongside Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin. As a rookie in 2007-8, he recorded six goals and 17 points in 63 games to help the Penguins reach the Stanley Cup Final. Although they were beaten by the Red Wings, that very next year they beat Detroit in a cup final rematch, bringing Lord Stanley's mug to Pittsburgh for the first time since 1992. Latang would go on to win two more championships with the Pens in 2016 and 2017. In 2019, he became the first Penguins defenseman to score 500 points. In 2023, Latang won the Bill Masterton Trophy, presented annually to the player who best exemplifies the qualities of perseverance, sportsmanship, and dedication to hockey, after recovering from the second stroke of his life and losing his father within a span of four weeks. The San Jose Sharks' Brent Burns Acquired by the Sharks from the Minnesota Wild in June 2011, Brent Burns was originally drafted as a right winger, but eventually transitioned to full-time D-man. He had a breakout season in 2015-16, finishing with 75 points and putting up a further 24 in 24 playoff games to help the Sharks reach the cup final for the first time since entering the NHL in 1991. Burns was even better in 2016-17, piling up 76 points and becoming the first player in Sharks history to win the Norris Trophy. He leads Sharks defensemen all-time with 594 points. The Seattle Kraken, Vince Dunn the Seattle Kraken have only been in the NHL for three seasons, yet there's one defenseman that stands above the rest. Claimed from the St. Louis Blues in the expansion draft, a team which he'd won the Stanley Cup with, Dunn helped the Kraken qualify for the playoffs for the first time last year. Dunn put up a career-high 64 points last season and inked a four-year extension with Seattle. He holds the franchise record in points for a defenseman at 143, and his 210 games played are behind only Adam Larson's 224. The St. Louis Blues, Alex Pietrangelo. This is one of the cases where, had we not given ourselves the rule of not using the same player twice, Al McInnes would have been a slam dunk. The argument for Chris Pronger is probably there too, but we decided on Alex Petrangelo 
who was a fourth overall pick by the Blues that spent 12 seasons with the team. In 2014-15, he became the first defenseman in team history to finish with at least 40 points in each of his first four full NHL seasons and was named captain a year later. His high point as Blues captain came on June 12, 2019, when he scored what proved to be the Stanley Cup winning goal, in a 4-1 victory over the Boston Bruins. He brought St. Louis its first championship since entering the NHL in 1967. Pietrangelo ranks second in both games played with 758 and points with 450 among all Blues defensemen. The Tampa Bay Lightning, Victor Hedman, the second overall pick in the 2009 NHL Draft, is the only Lightning defenseman to have reached the 1,000 game mark and third player in team history alongside Vincent LeCavalier and Steven Stamkos. Hedman was an integral part of the Lightning Corps that won back-to-back -back Stanley Cups in 2020 and 2021, being named playoff MVP and taking home the Conn Smythe in 2020. His 10 goals during that year's playoffs were the most by a defenseman since Brian Leach scored 11 with the Rangers in 1994. Hedman is a five-time Norris Trophy finalist, winning the award in 2018. As an alternate captain on a still competitive Lightning team, he remains one of the best defensemen in the NHL today. The Toronto Maple Leafs' Tim Horton Today, he may be more well-known for starting his now giant coffee and donut chain, but Tim Horton spent the first 20 seasons of his NHL career with the Leafs. Horton's name meant skill, mobility, and unsurpassed strength on defense in the NHL, as he helped Toronto win four Stanley Cups. He was also runner-up for the Norris Trophy twice, and also finished third in voting twice. On the way to his first of four Stanley Cup championships, Tim Horton scored three goals and 13 assists for 16 points in 12 games in 1962. His 16 playoff points in a single season was a long-standing record for Maple Leafs defenseman. The Vancouver Canucks' Alexander Edler The Canucks' third-round pick spent 15 years with the franchise and set new Canucks defenseman records in points with 409, games played at 925, goals with 99, and assists with 310. After missing 31 games because of back surgery in 2011, Edler returned to a President's Trophy winning Canucks team en route to the Stanley Cup Finals. The Canucks would lose in seven games to the Blues, while Edler, who scored 11 points in 25 postseason games, played in Game 7 despite two broken fingers. The Vegas Golden Knights, Shea Theodore. Like the Kraken, the second youngest team in the NHL also has one D-man who stands above the rest. After spending two seasons with the Anaheim Ducks, Theodore was traded to the Golden Knights to ensure that Vegas selected defenseman Clayton Stoner in the expansion draft. Theodore has improved steadily during his time as a Golden Knight, helping the team reach the Cup Finals in 2018 and win the Stanley Cup in 2023. He holds the all-time Golden Knights defenseman records in points at 274 and is second in games played behind Braden McNabb. The Washington Capitals' Rod Langway when he was traded to the Capitals from the Montreal Canadiens, Langway had already won the Stanley Cup as a 22-year-old. In the Capitol, Langway became known as the Secretary of Defense. The trade for Langway made the Caps instantly better, as they qualified for the playoffs for the first time while Langway won the Norris Trophy in 1982-83. He won the Norris again in 83-84, when he had 33 points in 80 games, and the Capitals allowed a league-low 2.83 goals per game, also finishing second behind Wayne Gretzky in voting for the Hart Trophy. The Winnipeg Jets' Dustin Bufflin An 8th round draft pick by the Chicago Blackhawks and 2010 Stanley Cup champion, Bufflin was traded to the Atlanta Thrashers in the final year before they relocated to Winnipeg. Bufflin was an all-star game selection twice and helped the Jets reach the playoffs for the first time since their relocation to Winnipeg in 2011. He scored his 500th point in 2018, becoming the fourth player drafted in the eighth round or later to have 500 points. Bufflin sits atop all Jets defensemen with 363 points, and his 528 games played were only surpassed this season by Josh Morrissey. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to click like if you enjoyed, and make sure to subscribe for more NHL content. We'll see you in the next video.